One of the problems experienced by hydro growers with NFT systems, nutrient film technique, is water temperature. In NFT systems, commonly used in hydro systems, you have a very thin film of water running down a channel, and on a really hot day, that water temperature can rise from one end of the channel to the other by several degrees. And you've got hot water trying to feed your plants with that. In fact, it's well known that lettuce do not like hot roots. In fact, 22 degrees C is the temperature that is most suitable for lettuce, and that's very difficult to maintain with NFT systems, neutral film, nutrient film technique systems because of the increase in temperature. But with DWC systems, deep water culture, we've got a much larger mass of water. And as we know, water is very stable in temperature. Actually, it's hard to make it move up or down. So the bigger the mass of water you've got, the less temperature swing you have. And also another thing, you have less pH swing. You can have much better control over your pH of your system by using deep water culture systems. This um, farm setup that we're seeing right now, we're converting from hydro to aquaponics, and the owner is gradually going to replace all the NFT. Obviously, it's a big capital cost to pull it all out and throw it away straight away. So gradually, we're going to replace it bit by bit. As profit comes in, we'll replace it with DWC, or deep water culture system, because of the advantages that has in both temperature and pH. And the advantages are significant, which means more money on the bottom line for you, the farmer. This particular greenhouse has 5,000 holes, as the terminology goes. That's holes in the NFT channel, as you can see them there behind me. The number of holes we have is 5,000. Theoretically, that means we can have 5,000 plants growing at any given time. But in actual fact, that's not the whole story. Because with lettuce, for example, which we use as a benchmark crop to talk about, uh, lettuce takes four weeks to grow from the time you bring the seedlings into the NFT to when you harvest. So if we have 5,000 holes, but for the sake of mathematics, let's say 4,000 holes, that means we can only harvest 1,000 lettuce per week out of a 4,000 hole system. We're rotating our crops correctly so that every week we take off 1,000 lettuce. Every week we have to have another 1,000 seedlings to go into those holes to replace them straight away. If we're doing deep water culture, the same rules apply. We need to have a specific number of holes and we need to rotate our crop in that manner. When doing aquaponics for profit, the main game is the plants, as we've said earlier. Whereas fish are going to take, depending on species, the very earliest seven months, and some species might even take two years before you net a profit from them. So as you can see, in doing aquaponics for profit, the main game is the plants. I'm very reluctant to predict income levels because that's dangerous, because for different parts of the world and in different marketplaces, you'll experience different prices for your produce. But right here in southeast Queensland, it's quite possible and very easy to obtain $1.50 per lettuce for well-grown organic style lettuce. In fact, that's the bottom of the price range. We've had some clients that actually are offered up to $3 for their lettuce per lettuce. What we've got to remember is we're producing in these systems premium quality product. We're not just growing them in some old back paddock somewhere and uh, selling them in, in the Brisbane markets for the lowest possible price. We're selling them as premium product to a premium market. So we can expect, if we're going to harvest out of this one greenhouse alone, quite conservatively, we will harvest 1,000 lettuce a week, week in, week out. That's with one operator working by himself, $1,500 per week gross income. That's from your lettuce alone. Physical labour on a daily basis will just simply be coming to work, checking that all the pipes are running, the pumps are running, everything's going fine, and then harvesting your lettuce. Now, whether you do that on one day per week or whether you do some lettuce every day per week will depend on your own particular market strategy. But over the week, you have to harvest a thousand lettuce and over the week, you have to plant out a thousand seedlings. We have got some growers already who are reporting to us that that represents about two hours work per day once they're well organised. Obviously, initially, you'll have to put a lot of effort into it, but once they're organised, it's about two to two and a half hours work per day. Now, that's not a bad way to make a living.